Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are gonna be talking about some of the things that you can do to cope with being at home. Um, for us, we are usually at home all the time. So I have been homeschooling for 14 years now. So for us, this really isn't a change for us. Um, we do go to town a couple times a week for some of the things that the kids are involved with. And that is all, um, you know, we're not able to do any of that right now. So that would be the only thing that's a little different with us not being able to leave. Um, but for us being home all the time, we're not like under any like extra stress with that just because we're so used to it. Um, so for me, I'm not overly like freaking out um, with us not being able to like do anything just because we're so used to it. Um, because our schedule usually is like we wake up, we have chores, we have breakfast, and then we homeschool, and then we have our lunch and then the kids have games in the afternoon and then we have supper and then, you know, maybe watch TV or whatever and the kids play. So we already have like our daily schedule that we follow anyway. So it's not really anything different for us. Um, so I'm just trying to think of ways for other people that are new to staying home. Um, I think the biggest thing that will eventually help for people is to kind of have, you know, for us, we don't have an overall like schedule, but ours is more like a routine thing that we do every day, pretty much the same thing every day. So if you guys can figure out something new to do that way where you guys can um, figure out a schedule, I know a lot of you guys had to set things up for your kids for school and i know that's like a new challenge for everybody um for us we do a lot of book work and we don't usually do a lot of computer online stuff we do have a program that we do use that's called um mavis beacons typing so the kids will go on the computer and work on that um, but that's pretty much the only program that we use online and that we ordered on Amazon. So if you guys are looking for like a kid or even an adult program for typing, I'll leave that in the description below for you guys if you want to pick that up. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys more about like, I know a lot of people with being anxious and nervous and not knowing what is going to be happening with our future and some of the things that are going on or just being uncertain. I think um, we're pretty calm with what's going on right now until, you know, maybe there's something else that's gonna happen. Um, I think the worst time for me was when I was a single mom with two of my kids and we went through the whole 9-11, um, that was kind of a freaky moment for me. I think that was one of the um, like biggest events that I went through and that was really hard, I think, on everybody. So with us and this virus, it's pretty much taking over a lot of us with not being able to go places. So I think a lot of us are just still nervous on the uncertainty. Um, but one of the things that I have kind of, I have some of the stuff written down, um, that maybe will help you guys get through. So one of the things that we've been doing with the kids and talking more about, um, is talking to the kids and, um, it depends on your child too, because our kids like to have some knowledge too and some of my kids might not want to hear a lot of the stuff that's going on, but we just kind of share with them so that they're not clueless or nervous with what's going on either. So we just kind of talk about that with them. Um, we also do a lot of like prayer, more prayer during the day. Um, we tell the kids, you know, take the time if they need to, to do some prayer and 
We do prayer at meal time and stuff like that just so they can feel um, that they have someone to talk to, not just us, that they can talk to God if they are struggling um, with just being anxious and nervous. So that's something that is good to do. Um, we're not able to go to our church right now, so we just watched our church online today. And um, I think there's other ones that you guys can uh, go on YouTube or whatever. Um, ours is Hope Community Church, and that I think you can find online, and they have some services on there that you can watch. Another thing is, um, okay, so I said the church online is another resource. Um, if you guys want to put some, like, praise and worship on in your home, um, Q90FM is a good radio station you guys can listen to um, that has a lot of praise and worship. You could go on YouTube and look up some praise and worship songs um, and turn it on during the day if you guys need some, you know, just some... Oh. I can't even think of the word. No. Oh, some inspiration or maybe some up uplifting songs that you need right now just because a lot of people are just kind of down and out. So that might help also. Okay, so at, that's pretty much that as in, um, you know, going to God, talking to God, praying, and just asking Him to help you with your fears and... Um, just helping with your, you know, right now everybody's just kind of just scared and nervous and that way you can at least have somebody to talk to if you're alone. I know for us, you know, there's 10 of us in the house, so we're obviously not alone. Um, <laughs> but um, I know a lot of people had jokes on uh, with us being quarantined down to six that we need to separate our home, but... Um, that's just kind of funny, but I do have two older children that are not in the home. They live on their own. So we even kind of, you know, that they're not able to come over. So we're not able to see them right now. But, um, so it's just kind of that thing, you know, with us having littles, my daughter has little ones and I have little ones. We're just kind of trying to keep that at bay with, you know, the virus and stuff. So and that's about that you know a lot of you guys are working from home and you guys had your own like routine and stuff that you did you got ready in the morning and I think maybe some of you guys feel that maybe you don't need to do that anymore because you are working from home but I feel that if you get ready in the morning um, I know a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I don't have a lot of time to do that just because it's breakfast and the day just kind of gets carried away and then I don't get ready. But if you find that you're just feeling kind of like slumpy and you want to um, feel a little bit better, that would be one way to feel good is to, you know, take a shower, get ready, do your hair, do your makeup. Um, even uh, changing your clothes, getting dressed up a little bit, just to be, uh, just to feel good. Just because we're at home doesn't mean that we can't still feel good. And um, that just gives us another extra thing to do instead of sitting in front of a TV all day. I don't think a lot of times we sit in front of a TV all day. There's times that in the afternoon that we'll turn TV on. Sometimes in the morning we do. Um, but our day gets so like, crazy that we have our own routine with getting up doing breakfast doing chores and then homeschooling then we have lunch and then you know we have afternoon where they have games and then um supper and stuff at nighttime so we just we kind of already have our routine in what we do so if you guys still you know do that just get up get ready get ready for the day another thing is you know like i said before turn on some praise and worship music maybe while you're doing your work you're able to do that now that you're home um as for the kids though i know a lot of you guys are having to set up the kids schooling and get that prepared so for us um, with me homeschooling for 14 years, we kind of, it's just kind of like our daily thing now. So it doesn't, for us, it's not anything new for us. So 
we don't we're not like really in the category of everybody else struggling with trying to figure out how to work from home um and home and school your kids at the same time now the only thing different with me is i usually work one night a week and every other saturday um being a hairstylist and our salon just shut down so i no longer will be working until we figure out what's going on so far my husband can work until they pass that he's not able to work and so he's able to kind of like go in and out of the house right now and he will be the one that is going to be doing that i will be the one staying at home um usually the kids have some activities during the week that they need to do or go to and that all is canceled so this is a perfect time for us to get some stuff done that uh, has been lingering around for a while. I know my husband has some stuff that he wants to get done out in the garage, so he's gonna be working on that if he isn't able to get some work done. So he's gonna look into that and then we have to get our taxes done. So it's just a lot of stuff now that we have a little bit more free time. I don't wanna say free time as in um, this isn't something because we were just so used to being at home. Um, but it's more like now we don't have these other activities that we can get more stuff done at home. Um, I, with me doing videos now, I pretty much have more time to maybe put more content out. And that's why I've been kind of putting more videos out. And the one day I put like, I think like two videos. Um, but that's just because of this whole coronavirus and me being at home and having this extra time, I'm able to do that right now. So getting extra stuff done is kind of our goal right now. We had some bunk beds stored that we got from a friend. And yesterday we took the time to change some of the bedrooms around. My daughter is going to be two years old and I wanted to get her a toddler bed for her birthday. So what we ended up doing is taking her crib. I'll show you guys, um, Maybe I'll like put a picture up here or something, but I, I, we took her bed, took the front railing off, lowered it, cut a piece out so that she wouldn't fall off the bed, but she would still have an area. I just still need to finish it and paint it yet where my husband cut out that area, but you guys will see that in the picture. I'll leave it up here somewhere. Um, I did share it on Facebook. If you guys want to look on Facebook, I shared some other photos of what we did with the other bunk beds for my kids the twins stay downstairs usually with Evelyn um, but they want to sleep upstairs because we have an extra um, bunk the lower part is open so they want to try that out last night so we kind of move things around um, so their bedroom needs to be straightened out we have a closet in there that's kind of like a walk-in closet that we want to make into what yeah we have a lego like closet that we want to paint and finish um so we have a lot of stuff like disaster right now i have this bed that's let's see if i can point to it there's like a little white bed right back there with a bunch of clothes on it yesterday i went through their dressers and um we actually folded some of their clothes and put a lot of that stuff away Here's we're Lachlan. Now. Yeah, you're upstairs now. Well, we're and gonna I give it a. I my books. You've got your school books done, so they're gonna try to be upstairs. But I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll just, I don't know. We're gonna figure that out. And if they're comfortable with staying upstairs, then we might end up getting rid of their beds downstairs, and then we would have a better um, play area, like a better, because we have a lot of toys out in the living room area. We don't have and a basement. Evelyn has a new bed. Mm -hmm. so I told them. out and in. Yeah. So with us living in a garage, we don't have a basement, um, for us to have like an area for our kids to have their toys. So they have just their bedrooms and we have, okay. So one bedroom upstairs is Gage and Eli. Um, and then it's Miles, Declan, Hudson, Nash, and Lachlan in another room. And I, I kind of posted yesterday on Facebook about um, kids that complain about sharing bedrooms and our kids don't really have an 
issue, I guess, um, just because that's just life and that's just how it is when you have a large family. Um, if the twins do end up staying upstairs, then Evelyn would be the only one having a room, which eventually is going to be her room anyways. But then I would have to repaint her room because we have Batman on one side and Girly on the other side. So then the whole room would be girly. And then we would just add all the toys in that bedroom and that would make some of the living area um, cleaner just because we wouldn't have toys out here anymore. So guys, that's what we could do is get rid of your bed so that um, we could put all these toys in your bedroom. So maybe that would be an idea. But anyways, off that note, I was just saying this would be the perfect time to get a lot of them activities done. And then um, uh, early spring cleaning. So in that is probably some of the things that we might end up doing. I know I have to get upstairs, like I said, and finish cleaning out their closet before we paint and do a lot of that stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of cleaning in that way. So. I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about that yet. Um, getting outside. I don't know if I mentioned that, like some activities that you can do with the kids. We still have snow here. So getting outside, outside is kind of, you know, they can get outside. They can still play, but I'm just going to kind of mention some activities that you guys can do with your kids. Um, in case you are, you know, wanting something new or something easy and cheap to, for them to play with. Um, we over Christmas or with Christmas, we ordered some extra stuff for them. We did a lot more games this year and two of the games that we, oh no, we got a couple, a couple games. That's right. Okay. So we have blink and we, which is kind of like a faster card game with some of the kids, but you can do, um, a slower version with the little ones. It's matching numbers, shapes, and colors. And colors. But you have to do it really fast. But with the little ones, you could, you know, do it a little bit slower. And then you have taco, cat, goat cheese, pizza. A friend of ours told us about this one, and this one's really fun too. So I'll leave the links down below. And then Catan. Catan. And Sleeping, Sleeping Queens, Queens is another card game. So check that them Sleeping out. Sleeping Queens is another like math game. Okay, that one's they said is a math game. So they usually play that one. So I'll leave that down below. Um, board games, what board games did we get? Fortnite? Yeah, Fortnite. Uh, Monop Monopoly. Or Fortnite Monopoly, what other one? Fortnite Monopoly. Card, did we get any, what other board games did we get? We got that one, chicken one. Oh, we got a chicken one, kids chicken one, count your chickens it's called. And then we got Fortnite. We said that already, what other one? Um, oh, we have a monkey game. We haven't even played that like a lot. Yeah. Risk. Um, I'll leave all this down below though. Then you guys can check it out, okay? Um, puzzles is a good one that my kids, we pull the puzzles out once in a while. Um, hide and seek books is another one. We Word have, search. We have tools. Uh, uh, yep. Hide and, oh, I said that already. Um, telephone and you have telephone telephone um carnival. Ca oh yeah carnival uh, no yeah but Blue that Lagoon. Blue Lagoon, yeah. mm, but that we got that from somebody yeah. that wasn't what we bought okay um another thing that you can buy online or from amazon is these magnets so they have different shapes and stuff and then the kids just like build a bunch of stuff with this. So I'll leave that down below. Um, art supplies, they have art supplies and stuff on Amazon that you could be using, crayons, markers. Um, we kind of just leave a lot of stuff in our homeschool area. We kind of work from our tables. So I kind of have everything in certain things, in certain uh, containers for us to be able to pull out. They have. The twins have their own drawer for their school. Um, so we have a certain area for all of that stuff. Okay, uh, what other, as, oh yeah, I was kind of saying about getting outside, exercising, the kids turn on Just Dance once in a while on Wii, and we can use that, or you can turn on some kids praise and worship and dance along with that. And we have Pokemon on Monopoly. Oh, I know, but that's not what we got for Christmas. 
So maybe I'll leave that down below too. Um, okay, so what other things? Oh, the and I think a lot of um, parents are using the online ABC. I don't have a link for that because we're not using that right now. I don't do a lot of online computer stuff. I don't wanna keep saying that I'm gonna leave a bunch of stuff for you guys, but I will. I'll just have everything down below. You can check it out. But the Mavis Beacon is a typing program that you follow along and has games and different things and it teaches them typing. So check that out. Um, I think I said like cleaning bedroom. Yeah, we did the cleaning bedrooms, I think. Um, maybe starting like a new hobby. I know for me, when I have time, I do a lot of crocheting. I do sewing, quilting. I don't know, just random whatever. Okay, um, the kids were joking because I was saying, okay, what can we, what can we talk about about, uh, you know, people getting started or like a new hobby or whatever. And um, I know the kids are waiting for my husband to build uh like a gym out in our garage because they Ooh. yeah they're gonna build a wall out in the garage and they're gonna do that but they were joking about starting a youtube channel that um you guys should start a youtube channel on your uh quarantine for the coronavirus so i don't know something funny the kids were talking about but um, and that could be a thing. I'm sure a lot of people are already starting uh, something for that. But, or you guys, if you guys are bored, you could keep watching, you know, go back and watch some more of my videos. So, I don't know. We'll do updates, you know, through this whole thing. I'll get on more often. Maybe I'll do some Facebook Live stuff. It's just our days get so crazy and so carried away that I do not have time to like do a lot of that and um we'll see i don't know we'll we'll figure out some stuff and go from there but uh hopefully some of this stuff you know helped you guys with you know being stuck in your house you know for us this is not a stressful time because we're just so used to being at home um but you guys can message me or you know chat with me on instagram i'll leave my instagram down below you guys can message me or leave me an email at 10 kids in a garage at gmail.com. Um, if you guys need extra prayers, uh, we can uh, send you guys some uh, praise and worship stuff. If you would like, just leave me an email. Um, another thing that uh, works for us during this time or pretty much through the year, I've always used, um, I don't know how many years now, maybe like four, five, six, seven years, I've been using oils. And we do a lot of oils for like colds and coughs and sicknesses. And I'm not going to go through a lot of the ones that I do. Um, but someday, hopefully, I can list a lot of that on my website. I do have doTERRA oils on my website if you guys are interested in purchasing. I do want to go over some oils that I use during the cold season. Um, and then coming up soon, I'm hoping to do a baby wipe video for you guys um i did mention that in my corona uh coronavirus um prepping video that i'm going to be doing that and then how to make um clorox wipe one so i'll do i'll do both i'll do my baby wipes one and then i'll do clorox wipes video too uh, in the same video on how to how we make ours um okay so off that i'm gonna get started with the oils now i'm gonna show you what i'm using and then i will start diffusing that today here are the things that i have um on guard is used for diffusing through like sickness times or um just to keep you from possibly catching the virus it's just something that you can use um on guard with this one, it's a roll-on, so you can use it that way just to protect yourself um, with wearing it. So that one is a roll-on. And then Evelyn's gonna keep yelling at me, but um, here's another one. This is what you would be using to diffuse in your diffuser. I have my diffuser right here, and I'll, um, I'm gonna be diffusing some stuff in a little bit. So that's that one. 
Um, I also have calmer that I'll put on the kids once in a while on their wrist and that just helps with um, the kids that are just kind of getting a little wild and crazy. I use more of this um, for kids that have like hyperactivity or just my kids are I mainly have boys here so this just kind of helps them um, calm down a little bit more. Another one that I have that works really well is Peace. Um, I heard another lady was using it, so I uh, wanted to give it a try. And I put it on the my four-year-old twins one day just to see if it worked. And it was probably like within like 20 or so minutes that um, I noticed a difference. So this one works pretty good. And then um, here's another, this is just kind of like a fun one, the citrus balloon uh springtime blend so you would just add like three to four drops in your diffuser depending on how big your diffuser is and here this one is called anchor so studying blend um this is for like anxiety and anxious and feelings like that so you would just add like four or five drops in your diffuser and um, that helps with that. And a lot of the smells are pretty good. Some of them we can't use a lot of just because of the kids can't handle certain ones. Um, so that's another concern with using oils is just making sure that you guys can handle that part of it. But I'm going to put some in my diffuser. I will show you how to use it. My diffuser, it has two different sections. I have my cup that I just pour in and then this one can be filled a couple more times just because it's a bigger diffuser. And I'm going to use I'm going to use the on guard and I kind of just shake it in there. Put the cover back on. And with mine, I can do power on and then if I keep pushing it, it stays on all day. And then it has where you can change the light if you want to. And so I can kind of change it if I want like color or if I just want it to stay white. Um, what do you want? Are you playing upstairs? Yeah. You gonna smile. Okay, so that's how I use our diffuser. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys already diffuse. I can leave my link to my doTERRA um, kind of website or whatever if you guys are interested in purchasing. Hopefully that was informative for you guys. She's gonna use her hairbrush, it's kind of crazy here. I'm crazy here. But so far we are surviving this um, normal, non-normal non -normal quarantine, I guess. Um, but it's not really affecting us yet. So until we can't like absolutely go anywhere and everything is completely shut down and the internet goes out, then they'll, I'll get a little crazy. So until then, we'll see. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? All right. So I'll see you guys in the next one.